you know, I knew buying and installing an outdoor wood boiler was going to be a lot of work. I didn't think it'd be this much work, however. Let me show you what I'm working with here. All right, so here we have a central boiler 6048. Now this unit can handle up to 10,000 square feet across two different homes. So I've had it hooked up and I did a full on test. You know, right now it's beginning of October. So I figured, you know, I wanna test out the system, make sure everything's working properly before we go deep dive in a winter and it gets nice and cold. All right, so let me give you the scenario of what happened. I needed to test this unit out. After we got it all hooked up, I put a full load of wood in, lit it on a Monday, and it you know, went out on Thursday. So a nice four days uh, full load. Granted, I didn't have the heat on in the house, so it lasted a little longer as it was smoldering. No problem. The problem was when I needed to bring you know, the wood to the front, mix it up, stoke it. Um, some of that hardly packed ash that was essentially holding the bottom plate together broke loose and then we started to have a leak. What I've done was I cleaned up best I could. I put some little plates down and welded them together. Now, as I was uncovering the problem here, these were the only two holes, but unfortunately I uncovered some other thin metal here. So I went and welded that up, did a poor job. I'm not a welder, so you know, that's to be expected. So the purpose of today's video is to really hone in my welding skills to prep to do a whole new bottom floor in there. And you know, I'm okay with some constructive criticism. Leave some comments, you know, anything really helps. I'm a novice welder. I just do it for little projects here and there. But here I got to do a watertight weld that's going to hold in 400 gallons of hot water. So any recommendations that you guys can give me, 100% appreciate. First thing I tried to do was lay a test bead and the welder was broken due to this half-ass repair from the previous owner. So I broke out the JB weld and got that all fixed up. Now that the JB weld is setting up on the welder, we're going to move our specimen, our metal plate, to some sawhorses to start cutting it. All right, now with our metal plate on the sawhorses, I want to double check our measurements inside the boiler. And I'm using my Milwaukee tape with flashlight. You know, I thought I got suckered into that, and I probably did with the light. But it's going to be useful inside this dark boiler. So who's a sucker now? Am I right? Look at that. Flashlight's working great on the front of that tape. All right, so we have, we'll call that, 55 just because i want a little bit extra i don't want it sitting on the actual bottom since in some spots it is a little thin so 55 we'll call that 30 30 and a half so the other thing I have to take into account is the door, right? So I can't, won't be able to fit a full piece of metal in there unless the angle is correct. So we're looking at a three foot diagonal. So I'd be able to, you know, take the piece of metal, flip it up at the angle, fit in three feet wide. So we should be good there looking at, you know, only 30, 30 and a half inches should be good.
All right, so, you know, first cut down, I'd say it's pretty good for, uh, you know, quarter inch thick steel. I've had this little plasma cutter for approximately three years now, got it for my birthday, and this is the first time I'm using it. Don't tell my wife, I use that thing every day though. Um, yeah, first cut's good. Let me just show you the setup real quick in case you're curious of how jank this is. So I'm using 220 on that. In my garage, I don't have 220. So I'm using my diesel generator over here. So that's 220. Then I have my air compressor in the garage. It's running you know, 125 PSI to this regulator, which is going down to 70. And then, yeah. So we're gonna do another cut here. So we have our 55 inches and we're going 31 inches. Awesome, I'm, I'm very impressed with how this thing cuts. But yeah, if anyone's actually curious and wants to go check this thing out, I think it was like 125 bucks. Again, three years ago, now we're in big inflation prices, but I'll leave an affiliate link down in the description below. All right, so, you know, welds don't look too bad. I can't really tell if they're gonna hold or not um, yet. So I lost a bunch of interest after going through, welding the entire thing and it leaking everywhere. So we're back a week later and I have a fat ass bead going, I'd say 75% of the whole bottom. Just have to finish up uh, here and wrap it in and then we'll be able to test it. All right, so I created this thing out of PVC to do a pressure test. So I'm putting in roughly 20 PSI. The display doesn't really show it. On the inside, I didn't hear any leaks. Unfortunately, after filling it with water, there was cracks. I think it cooled down too quickly. It pulled away in all the corners. So what I'm gonna do in the next video, we're gonna go re-weld everything, and hopefully, fingers crossed, it'll be fixed.
Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll catch you in the next one.